Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your voicemail on Android. We'll start with the built-in voicemail function on your Android phone. For this demo, I'll be on a Pixel phone, but it works across all Android devices. And then I'm going to show you on Google Voice how to put multiple voicemail greetings in there and actually tailor your voicemail to show different greetings to different people from your contact list, which is kind of a cool feature that not a lot of people know about. So first on your normal Android phone, you're gonna go to your phone app that's built in and to access the voicemail, easiest option is go to the keypad and hold down the one symbol. So this will call voicemail on here and you'll have multiple options from here. On a Pixel phone, it will say to access the main menu, press star, and then it will tell you when you want to change your voicemail that if you're using Google Fi, you need to go to the Google Fi app to update your voicemail. So it really depends on the carrier that you're using on how to update the voicemail. If you are a Google Fi user, simply go to the voicemail option in there, and then there's manage greetings, and you can create multiple greetings right within the app. This connects to your phone's app, and that's the greeting you'll use. You can create as many as you want, I'm not sure if there's a limit here, but you just click the little microphone option down there, tap to record a new greeting. If you like it, you can save it. If you don't like it, you can delete it and try again. So that's how you do it. Pro tips on how to record a good voicemail greeting is know what you want to say beforehand. Try to keep it short, like 10 seconds or less. Most default greetings are about six seconds. If you have an external microphone like this, this is the blue microphone, a uh, snowball. So those are good. It'll make the quality sound much better. Um, so you record the greeting. You can pick which one you want to be as a default there. Um, so right now I have a mark default one. If I wanted the system default one, I could just click on the arrow and click set as active. So that would be the system default. Um, so that's how you set up voicemail, some tips on there. So now if you want to have different voicemail, go to different people like friends and family get one, unknown numbers get a please do not call this number or remove me from your list, spam, whatever you want. If you have a business, you can have those contacts get another. I recommend using Google Voice. So within Google Voice, you can record up to 10 custom voicemail greetings. To do that, you click on the three line menu click on settings, and then you're going to scroll down to voicemail greeting. So within voicemail greeting, you can click the plus up top, record a greeting. I've recorded a couple of these. I have one that says generic. I've got a Google voice default. I've got Mark for friends and family, where I say my name and this is for friends and family. So you can record those in there. But then if you want diff these different greetings to go to different people, you can't use the Google Voice app. I've tried that and you can't even use the mobile site. I've tried that as well. You have to go to the desktop site. So we're gonna hop over to desktop and I'll show you how to leave custom greetings for different people there. So now on desktop, I'm on the Google Voice. You just go to voice.google.com. So I'm right here. And then there's something called custom call forwarding. So if you scroll down right here, it says custom call forwarding you can click create a rule. So for this, if you have contacts in your, you've synced up your contacts on your phone with Google Voice, this should all be listed here. You can click family right there. And then within family, you can click next on this, and then it could be send to voicemail. So when you click send to voicemail, you'll see some different options on the screen. This says generic but I could click Mark for friends and family because I've already recorded that. I can also record it right here on my desktop. I could plug in the Snowball microphone, get a high quality version. I could record it in the app. I could record it in the mobile device on the mobile website. Either way, it'll be in here if you're using Google Voice. And then you click Save. And so now if friends or family call me, they'll get a certain... Um, a voicemail greeting that I pre-recorded just for them. If there's a business one, whatever, I could create a rule. I could pick business people, whatever I want, create a different rule. And so I can have various people calling me receiving different voicemail messages, which is kind of cool. 
I didn't really know you could do that until I dug in here earlier today. One last tip I have for voicemail is if your phone is about to die, let's say you're out caving or climbing in the mountains, the snow, somewhere, and you're like, oh, my phone is about to die. I want to make sure that my friends and family know that I'm safe, I'm okay. You could record a custom voicemail message, set it as your default if you want everyone to get it, or you could go, you'd have to have a desktop computer, so if you're in the mountains, you probably wouldn't have a desktop to use the Google Voice tip I just showed you, but you could say, I'm okay, my battery just died, I'll be back tomorrow. If you don't see me tomorrow, then call the police. Something like that. You could have an emergency voicemail greeting. So even if your phone is dead, the voicemail will still work if someone dials your number. I hope this video is helpful for you. Put in the effort to record a nice voicemail greeting, especially if you have a business and you want to sound professional. Write down what you want to record ahead of time. Make it clear, memorable. Use an external mic if you have one to make it sound professional. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.